Here you can see the sample code that actually calculates pi by a rejection technique. And in this Python version, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need the random number generators from NumPy, NumPy itself, and matplotlib.pyplot because we want to see, show you a little bit what happens if we plot this stuff. So what we're going to do is essentially we're going to define a function called pysample that takes an argument n and just counts the number of points inside the circle as a fraction of the total number of points. So let's see how we do that. So what we do as usual, we pick up a set of uniformly distributed random numbers, but now we only do it of size 2 between minus 1 and 1. So this is size 2 would give me both the x and y coordinates. Then we can use np.linalc to actually calculate the norm of the sample. And if the norm, the length of that vector, is less than 1, then we want to add it to our count list. If it's greater than 1, we don't want to count it. And that's all we need to do. Then we make a in the main part of the code, we make a small array that samples these things for one to for 10 to 10 million samples, and we see what happens. Uh, we also calculate the error as essentially the, uh, the standard square root type estimate, which is essentially the, the most naive estimate we can make for a binomial distribution. And then finally, we plot what happens just to show you that the error goes down. So, once again, let's look at what happens if you run the code. And essentially, we now need to scroll down a little bit. Yep. And what we can see happening over here, that after a little while, it's plotted as a number of data points. And what you can see happening over here, apart from the fact that I, but I haven't been very smart in it, the first point is just plotted on the axis, as is the final point, you can see that the estimate of the error bars goes down quite quickly with the number of samples we take. This type of plot, sometimes called a funnel plot, uh, is analyzed somewhere else in, in before, and you can actually see what happens over there. So that's how it works.